Let's do this. How's it going, databytes? There's no data here, and welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin. Welcome to Q&A Part 6, ladies and gentlemen. That is right, this is our 6th Q&A. I put a community tab post and just said, ask whatever you want. I may or may not make a q and I actually got a lot of unique questions, which is really cool. So yeah, I am going to be answering your questions in this video, ladies and gentlemen. But guys, before we begin, just so you know, I have already made 5 different Q&A episodes. I honestly should remake the first episode, because that one's like so old. It's literally the second video I've ever done on this channel. But um, yeah, I have 5 other Q&A episodes. So, you know, if I did not answer your question in this video, be sure to check out all of the other 5 episodes. Because, you know, I've answered a bunch of questions so far. And I will be giving a minor shout out to the people who have provided these questions. So, you know, when I have a question in parentheses, there will be the username of the person who asked the question. If there is no particular username, then it's just a bunch of people who have asked the same question. And so that's a bit more of a general question. But if you're somebody who provided a unique question, your username will be in the text at the bottom. So you will have a little bit of a shout out. So yeah, guys, if you guys are excited for another Q&A, be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps out a whole lot. Also, guys, if you're new, be sure to subscribe because we are currently doing a Skeleton King giveaway. So if you want to enter that giveaway, just be sure to subscribe and then click the I in the top right corner. Do what that video says you will be entered into the Skeleton King giveaway. Anyway, without further ado, let us begin the Q&A. So I'm going to start out with the question that a bunch of people ask me in a bunch of different servers. No data, can I join your clan? So as you guys know, I can only allow like 19 other people into my clan. So uh, we do have a clan application on the Purple Nation Discord. You do need a Discord server to actually, you know, join the clan. Because, you know, Discord is kind of... How I communicate with my other clan members, it's how I tack my clan members to let them know when an onyx tier grind is. Because we do one onyx tier grind per month, just so you guys know, we get one onyx tier every month. So I kind of tag my clan members on my discord when those grinds are going to be, you know, when you gotta get points. So you do need a discord account. Once you make a discord account, you can join the purple nation. And then at the server info channel, the server info part of it, there should be the clan application, which is closed at the moment. I did close it because, you know, my clan is currently full. Just at the time of this recording, my clan is currently full. But, you know, I am every now and then I am kicking people for inactivity. You know, if you, if you don't get your 1000 points required, uh, you know, some clan members will be kicked and then some clan members just leave. So, yeah, I probably will start looking for new members eventually. So, you know, just join the discord. And if the clan application is open, you can fill that out. It asks a couple questions like your prestige, how long you've watched my videos, you know, what comp prizes you have, what clan prizes you have, stuff like that. Very general questions. And then if I like your application, I will contact you. And, you know, it's a, it's a number of things if you get contacted. I usually look for high prestige because high prestige really shows your dedication to the game. Um, clan prizes, you know, if you have an Onyx tier already, obviously, yeah, I know that you can grind. I know you've helped a clan before. So, you know, if you have an Onyx tier, that would definitely help. If you have competitive prizes, that is also very helpful. If you got top 10, I'm probably going to let you in because you've grinded a bunch. Even if you've gotten top 100 before, I know you can grind if you have gotten top 100. So, yeah, that, that's probably another thing that will help you. And yeah, I just want to see that you're dedicated to the game and that you can grind a lot. And then I will probably accept your application and, you know, hopefully contact you and put you in the clan. So if you want to apply, just know what you're getting into. It is 1,000 points in a week every month. So every month we go for an Onyx tier grind. During that week, you have to get 1,000 points or you will get kicked. So yeah, just so you know, I do tag the clan members so they know when that Onyx tier grind is going to be. And I usually try to put them near comp seasons because obviously during comp, a lot more people want the grind. So I try to schedule them closer to competitive seasons. Obviously, I don't know when the competitive seasons are, but I try my best. Anyway, yeah, that's all I have to really say about the clan. If you want to join, make a Discord, join the Purple Nation Discord server, and then apply when the application is open, and hopefully you can get in the clan. You know, it is very difficult. I got, like, 400 applications last time, and again, I can only accept, like, 19 people, so it is very tough, but I am looking for very hard workers. 
Would you like a grilled cheese sandwich? I mean, you know, I can't say no to free food. Just make sure the bread doesn't have any sesame seeds in it. No sesame, because I'm allergic to that. I'll die. So, if you do want to make me a grilled cheese sandwich, just don't poison me. Alright? Good? Great. Do you have famous Roblox friends? I mean, I'm friends with a considerable amount of Roblox YouTubers that you could consider famous. Master Chief, Assassin Mike, Weird Bread. I, I feel like they're all famous to some degree. I am friends with the Monkey, so he's a pretty popular YouTuber. So I'll say yes to that. I am friends with considerably famous people. Do you like your job? Straight up, I've wanted to be a YouTuber since I was like 10 years old. So I, th I think it's a success. It's pretty nice overall. It's a nice change of pace. I've never really had like a quote unquote real job before. Like everybody in my school always complains about like their job, how they work at McDonald's. And I'm just like, what is that like? And I don't want to sound like a jerk saying that. I don't want to like flex. Like look at me, I'm a YouTuber, but I genuinely do not know what it's like to have a real job but obviously i'm gonna get that experience during college because you kind of need to have internships in college you know what i mean but yeah it's overall a very nice job i like it i feel like i'm in control of everything i don't really have a boss that's going to fire me i mean i guess prisman could ban me from assassin but um yeah you get the point i can make whatever content i want as long as i don't get to all right so i have some bosses but i feel like i don't have bosses you know what i mean are you a lego or is that just a rumor that is just a rumor i'm not a lego ladies and gentlemen those little lego parts of me those are just studs those are 2008 studs so i kind of look like an old roblox character will you ever make a roblox game with scripting probably not i'm really not one to develop a game i don't really want to get into the programming I feel like that's just too much work. I never really got into computer programming. Like, my mom really wanted me to do computer programming, and I'm just like, no. Like, I'm really not interested in it whatsoever. And I mean, I've done some casual building here and there. Like, I would do the normal, like, preset Roblox building tool, but like, ever since I started Roblox, I was always a player, not really a developer. I don't really develop games. I just play them. I just have fun on Roblox. Do you have any other YouTube channels? Nope, this has always been my first one. I don't really see the point in making a second channel. Like, obviously, that's kind of been in the back of my mind. Should I make a second channel? And I don't really see the point of it. Like, what would I do with that second channel exactly? I could play different games other than Roblox, but, like, why not do that on my main channel? And I could make vlogs, but, like, I'm too lazy to do that because my life isn't that exciting. And again, why not just do that? on my main channel you know i never really see the point to a second channel at the moment so um no i do not have any other channels will you try to get more champion weapons in the future dude don't even ask me about champion weapons at this point honestly right now champion weapons are just really stressful to me because like there's always like two different champion weapons every year and i'm obligated to get every single one of them because i so far i have every single one of them so everyone just wants me to keep getting these champion weapons the void champion i really don't know what i'm gonna do with void champion because you know there is a targeting hacker that targets the top 10 people he's going for other people by the way you have no shoes who is currently like number one uh, the hacker was targeting that person for a while i have no idea how they dealt with him but he's still top one but you have no shoes is still number one so i guess they're somehow holding their own against the hacker i don't really know what they're doing tell me your secrets because i cannot deal with that like i'm not just gonna play the game for hours trying to get points that i can't get like if, if there's a hacker targeting me and i can't get points then that's just the end of it i don't really know i'll probably get void champion at some point but again with the hacker on the loose i'm probably just gonna have to trade for it Honest to God, I feel like Roblox Assassin... You know what? I'm going to put a little mini round right here. I feel like Roblox Assassin is sort of having a hacker issue. It's having a hacker issue because, again, you have targeting hackers targeting the top 10 people, which is messed up. Like, you have so much on your mind when you're doing a top 10 grind. You really... Someone who's going for top 10 should not have to worry about a hacker screwing them over. I, I just feel like that's messed up. There is something wrong with the game if you are having those dedicated players. If you're forcing them to worry about that, that's just a serious issue. And there are also, like, several people who are on the leaderboard exploiting. I'm pretty sure Unlimited Account Making was exploiting 
and like you could ban that account but it literally says unlimited account making so like yeah you can ban that account but it literally takes like a minute to make another roblox account and then you can just hop into assassin again grind to level 30 and if you're an exporter with auto kill that's really not going to be an issue you'll be at level 30 in like 30 minutes and then you can just get back on the leaderboard with no issues because it is extremely easy considering you're a hacker with auto kill so it's extremely easy to get on the leaderboard so yeah i feel like there's a bit of a hacking issue with you know roblox at this point and and me and zikori are kind of trying to push prism to you know patch these patch these hacks get rid of these auto kills um so far he hasn't done anything so i don't know hopefully he does that soon so this next question kind of relates to that should prisman focus more on assassin or vesteria so here's the thing prisman can do whatever he wants like if prisman wants to move on to a different game that's fine i mean he's been working on assassin for three whole years he made assassin 2 it didn't go well so he ditched it assassin 2 is gone he's been working on assassin for three years and if you want to move on to something that is totally fine like i'm going to respect that just fine there's no issues with it the moment i lose respect for developers and i'm not saying this applies to prisoning yet i'm not saying that at all this does not apply to prisoning yet all right he is working very hard making updates he still makes updates on assassin but i lose respect for developers when they don't update the game to the point where they don't fix it not adding content to the game is one thing but not fixing your game is another Yes, if you're a developer, you can totally move on to other things that is totally fine. But so long as you have an active community, and I said this on my live stream, so long as you have an active community in your game, it is your responsibility as a developer to continue fixing the game, making sure there's no glitches, no duplication glitches, no hacks, stuff like that. You gotta make sure your game works and that no one is going to break your game. And again, I'm not saying this applies to Prisman because it doesn't. Prisman still updates his game, but that's why I didn't like developers like Nicholas for a while. Because Nicholas, there was a serious duplication issue in Murder Mystery 2 and Nicholas did nothing about it. That's when I lost respect for Nicholas because he has such an active community. And even while the game was like at its lowest, when it was at like its super low point and nobody really cared about it anymore... It still had like 10,000 concurrent players and like there were so many players so the community was still active for the most part so I feel like you need to update your game as a developer you need to update your game and make sure it works. So yeah that's just my whole view on the thing. Again Prisman is still working very hard on Assassin. People are saying oh the updates are not as good as they used to be and you're not necessarily wrong but you know what Prisman is still for the most part fixing the game adding content i just hope he gets rid of the hacking issue soon because it is really starting to affect competitive mode and it's probably going to get worse <laughs> it's probably going to get worse if prisman does nothing and then and then assassin is just going to die if competitive mode is overrun by hackers most famous person you've met i think technically the most famous person i've met would be nicholas i met nicholas in twisted murderer for a couple seconds he joined my server for a few seconds and then just left I don't know what he was doing on Twisted Murderer, but of all the people I've met, I feel like he would be the most famous. I really have not met a lot of YouTubers, like, unintentionally. Like, I've never met, like, Tofu Ron Assassin or anything. Even when he was playing Assassin, like, constantly, I never met him. I never really met any YouTubers unless it was planned. Like, the monkey, obviously, that was planned. He contacted me, and he wanted to, you know, play Assassin, so yeah. Pokemon or Beyblade? Obviously Pokemon. Pokemon is just way better. Played a little bit of Pokemon. I never got too into it, but I've been playing Pokemon ever since like Gen 6. Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, I've kind of been following it since then and it's pretty good for the most part. What grade are you in? I'm graduating from high school on Thursday. So a couple days once this video comes out. Do you like Assassin as much as when you started? It's kind of an up and down thing for me like certain time periods i like assassin a lot more other time periods i'm not really that into it but i'd say overall yes i definitely like assassin better considering i kind of made a youtube channel off of it that definitely made assassin a lot more fun and interesting because i'm able to make content for you guys so i feel like that's the good part of it you know what's your favorite champion knife i feel like the champion weapons just get better and better as you know it progresses like champion blade Champion Blade was alright, but it was kind of just a reskin of Elegant Blade. 
wasn't really a huge obviously i liked it because it was like purple but it was just a reskin so i didn't think too much of it and then champion axe came and then i liked that just because it wasn't a reskin you know it was a unique knife of its own so i definitely liked that better and then champion axe 2 came along which yes that was a reskin of champion axe but i did like the blue better on the champion axe i just felt like it was better and then void champion came out and everyone just loves void champion like void champion is so good it looks sick and i'm just so jealous of the 10 people who are going to get it next week like seriously good job to you guys will you ever change your avatar or name again probably not i don't really plan on it i've always gone for simplicity when it comes to my roblox avatar so you know if it ain't broke don't fix it i feel like it's totally fine as is who do you play the most in super smash bros ultimate you know i think there's a legitimate answer to that if i look in one of the options it shows you your most played character but uh i'm gonna be honest i'm too lazy to look at that at the moment <laughs> so um so i don't really know the true answer in terms of time but my 1v1 main in super smash bros is mario so if i'm doing a 1v1 my main is mario and then my free-for-all main is Ganondorf. So that's that's my answer. So it kind of depends on the circumstances. So yeah, I mostly play as Mario or Ganondorf. What gaming laptop do you currently own? Uh, I bought it from Asus, and it is an Asus Strix laptop, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the full name of it, because Asus makes a bunch of laptops. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It gets the job done for the most part. I'd say it's more of a gaming laptop than it is a YouTube laptop. Like, if I try to stream, there is still some flaws with it, but for the most part, it really gets the job done. If I play pretty much any game, I won't lag in. So there's no more lag for me for the most part. There are some exceptions, like again, if I stream with very high settings, I can get some input delay, which is really not the best, but it is pretty good for the most part. Is high school difficult? I mean, it really depends on the classes you take, to be completely honest. I don't know if this applies to every school, but for my school, you know, there's regular classes, which in my opinion are super easy, but obviously, you know, it depends on your intelligence levels. Some people could have more difficulty in it. There's regular classes, there's honors classes, and then there's AP classes. So, it depends on the classes you take. Obviously, if you take AP, those are college level classes. So, if you take the college level classes, obviously, high school can be very difficult. And then it also, like, depends on the teachers. Because, let's be real, teachers can teach however the heck they want. Like, they can just give you a bunch of assignments and, like, give you zeros on them. Or they can do whatever they want. Or they can just give you a bunch of assignments and not teach at all. So a class can really change in difficulty depending on the teacher. Like, yeah, the material is all the same. Like, you know, if, if you don't understand the material, then you don't get the material. But it really can change depending on the teacher. You know, if they're lenient and they don't really give a lot of assignments, then obviously the class can be a lot easier. Or like a teacher could give like a take-home test and then that's just an easy 100. Or they could give you like a super, super difficult test that you're probably not going to do well on. There's a lot of factors to it. And then it really depends on your other responsibilities in life. Like when I started my YouTube, obviously school got a lot harder for me, but you know, I made it work. So in short, is high school difficult? I really can't answer that. Like it's different for so many people. It depends on the classes you take. It depends on the teachers that you get. There are so many different factors to it. I really can't answer if it's easy or difficult. Me personally, you know, I had some rough years here and there, but I made it work. At the end of the day, you'll probably make it through. You'll pass the classes that you need to pass to graduate. I, I think you'll be fine. I just think the hardest part of high school is like how competitive it is because you have to be good to get into a good college and then you need to be in a good college for a good future and yada 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 all that stuff. I feel like that's the hard part because you ha you're supposed to like push yourself because college is so competitive nowadays like everybody wants to go to college so to stand out to stand out compared to all the other students i feel like that is the difficult part and i feel like me being a youtuber that kind of made me stand out so i felt like that aspect was a little bit easier but like if i wasn't a youtuber i feel like i would be so average to be completely honest with you how do you manage youtube and school life well um four to five hours of sleep that's, that's basically how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. 
I really hope I get more sleep in college, like straight up. I was I was really sleep deprived during my four years of high school. It's it's not healthy. I, I probably chopped off a couple years of my life. Favorite saber. Probably Krampus. I think Krampus is really dark and edgy. I think that's really cool. Uh, second best, maybe Autumn Saber, but Elegant Saber is also really cool. I don't know. <laughs> My favorite Saber is Krampus. There you go. Will you trade your Champion Blade? No, I do not plan on trading my Champion Blade. I worked so freaking hard for that, and I really don't plan on trading any of my Champion Weapons, but probably at huge subscriber milestones, I'm probably going to give away my Champion Weapons, so yeah, look forward to that. Does your family watch your channel? Sometimes, yes. Actually, it's kind of ironic because the Q&A Part 4 is actually played on a TV screen in front of my whole family during vacation. It was kind of awkward. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roblox Assassin. Also, while I was doing this Q&A, Prisman tweeted the submarine base, which is a map that I leaked, so I was right. So I'm happy about that. That is that is good. So I, I did something. Thank you guys so much for watching this Q&A. Be sure to comment down below any questions. I might make part 7 at some point. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all those other things that YouTube people do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay purple.